Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amiru. In this video, we are going to learn how to perform in place upgrade on GCP SQL instances. So, here we will be using Postgres as our an example. Now, first of all, I will suggest you to create the clone of existing SQL instance. And why you want to do that? There are multiple reasons. First of all, you want to know how much time it will take to upgrade your SQL instance. So, if we will create a clone and then run the upgrade, it will uh, we will know the time it can take uh, to upgrade. Uh, second, uh, we can test uh, our application uh, uh, and uh, see if there is any functionality is not working after upgrade. Uh, so we can uh, further look into that. Uh. And uh, that's uh, that's a couple of two points, you know, that uh, summarize the whole thing. Uh, why we want to do that? Now, in uh, this scenario, we are going to create the clone. Um, then uh, we are going to run the upgrade. And then finally, we will, what we will do, we will drop the clone. Uh, and uh, then uh, we can come back to our actual production uh, SQL instance and run the upgrade. Uh, so that's going to be pretty much same uh, what we will do on the clone. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, here uh, I have. Uh, Postgres SQL instance. So first of all, you go to navigation menu and then you're going to go to your SQL tab here and then you're going to see your instances. In my case, I have Postgres 12 and that's my instance. Just click right there. So now here you have Postgres and you see that that's a major version and this is our instance name. Now what you're going to do, you're going to click on clone and it uh, will ask us the name of the clone. We can simply give the uh, you know same name. We don't have to change it. And uh, clone current state of instance, so that's fine. Or if you want to do some earlier point in time, and that's not really um, uh, approach here. We don't want to really go you know on the old uh, some existing time and all that. We just want to go ahead and uh, clone current state. So we go ahead and uh, click on clone. And now it's going to go ahead and create uh, the clone for us. Now, our uh, clone will be ready in probably a few minutes. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of databases and, uh, you know, that will be easy. So let's go ahead and check on this uh, existing instance. Um, so I'm going to show you I have only two databases. One is Postgres and the other one is a tester database. Um, there is no table in this uh, database as well. And you can see right there, uh, there are 57 MB out of 100 GB is uh, used. Um, and uh, this is a small instance, this is not a big instance. Uh, but we will get some idea like how, how long it can take uh, even uh, to upgrade uh, this instance. Uh, so once our clone is ready, we are going to run upgrade on the clone uh, and uh, estimate the time. So our Postgres clone is ready and uh, let's click on that one and then we are going to go ahead and uh, upgrade. Um, so once you're here, go to the overview and uh, then uh, click on edit. Uh, once you click on edit, uh, that's where you are going to see this uh, upgrade button. Uh, you can see right there, I can't really um, make a change here, you know. Uh, so this is our current version and uh, then we click on uh, upgrade. Uh, so right now it is asking me, hey, you want to continue editing? So maybe uh, you want to change some other things and all that, or you want to go to the upgrade page. I want to go to the upgrade page. And here uh, it tells you a few things. The same thing it is telling, uh, like uh, create a clone, uh, run on it and test it. And uh, also you, every time you're going to do it, it's going to take a full backup before uh, uh, upgrade and after uh, upgrade. That's great, you know, in case you have to revert it back or something like that. So uh, we will uh, go here and then uh, we have uh, Postgres 13 and Postgres 14. Um, right now our current version is uh, Postgres 12. I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply Postgres 14 uh, and uh, then uh, uh, we will uh, uh, hit continue. Only database version that are more recent uh, than yours. Uh, uh, your current uh, install version are listed. Um, so if uh, we are in for 12, we will see 13, 14, you know, so any new latest version will be apply, uh, seen in this uh, drop down now. Uh, so that's great. So hit uh, continue and now it should upgrade. Uh, so I see right there current database version uh, Postgres uh, 12 and uh, the new version or upgraded version will be Postgres uh, 14. Uh, and uh, now it is asking you, hey, provide uh, the instance name. In our case, it's uh, TB Postgres dash clone. Uh, so I hit uh, up. Uh, start upgrade and now it should start working now. So here is a message uh, instances are being uh, updated. Uh, this uh, may take a few minutes uh, while this operation is running. You may continue to view information about the instance. So let's wait here and uh, let it uh, finish uh, and uh, we will see how long it uh, will take. Uh, Mostly, um, I don't know, it's a small, I don't have any databases or all that, so it should not be uh, forever, 
but uh, it can take some time uh, for the upgrade. Let it run and then we'll come back. Our clone instance has been upgraded and uh, let's uh, take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this page. It took almost 12 or 13 minutes uh, just for this uh, clone to get uh, upgraded from uh, uh, Postgres 12 to Postgres 14 now. And you can see right there uh, where it says uh, backup started you know and then ended you know so it is a uh, uh, upgrade finished and uh, it started at uh, 542 that's where it uh, started and uh, then uh, you know it finished at uh, 553 so almost took uh, 11 minutes or something like that and you can see that uh, it has created the backup before uh, you know it, it applied the upgrade and then after uh, finishing that it also took the backup so that's uh, good and now we can see that uh, postgres uh, 14 um, so that's our clone you can see right there that's our um, instance and uh, the version is uh, uh, Postgres 14 uh, see right there that's also right there and you can see right here as well the major and minor version of uh, Postgres um, now there the clone is done now what we can do we can connect our app to the uh, this IP you know and uh, test uh, if uh, databases are already there so we are we should have only two databases because we have uh, uh, actually one test database that's uh, your user database so now you know that uh, just to upgrade this uh, it took uh, almost uh, 12 minutes so you know your downtime for this pro entire process uh, but in case uh, you have a large database uh, and uh, you run uh, the upgrade on the clone uh, you would know that maybe take 20 minutes 30 minutes and all that and after that uh, you will test uh, different functionality of your application and then you finally go to your actual production instance uh, you will go right here to the actual production instance uh, the same process what you have done uh, maybe at uh, some of the Sunday evening or maybe you know Saturday morning that's where you want to upgrade and uh, then you're gonna go to the production you're gonna go to edit uh, and then uh, in the uh, editor you're gonna see this uh, upgrade option same way we see in the clone so it says another instance uh, you know from where we created the clone we are gonna go ahead and upgrade and it's gonna take us to the page uh, where we can uh, select our version so here is the postgres 12 we can go ahead and say select 14 and we can simply continue and it will ask us hey provide me your instance id and we will go ahead and start the upgrade um, i have done this one so it is going to take almost the same time and uh, i'm okay but you guys know all the steps so uh, because with this exactly same steps what we have done on the clone so there is no difference when we click start upgrade it's going to start upgrading and then it will uh, take the backup before upgrade and uh, then take a backup after upgrade that's all it will do so thank you very much uh, and plan yourself, uh, you know, always uh, try to create the clone first, uh, run your upgrade, uh, in place upgrade on that clone and write down the time it took, uh, you know, and then, uh, you know, let your application connect to it, test it and test all the scenarios and everything and then uh, finally make uh, uh, your uh, appointment for upgrade uh, maybe over the weekend or whenever you have some downtime from your user, from your users and then go for upgrade. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in next next video.